Now, once you create your domain design, design, you take each of those domains and then apply what I call as tactical domain driven design to kind of take that domain and bring it down into say, what are the actual microservices that you would need that would kind of serve the uh, domain objectives, right? Uh, so we start defining an entity, which is a unique, some data that that is a, that, that kind of has to be pursued in a unique identity, right? So something like uh, in, in the case of a food delivery service, a restaurant could be a unique identity, right? A user's orders could be unique identity that has to be persisted, right? So that becomes an entity, right? So you basically take an, uh, take a user and he would have accounts and then you would have maybe his preferences, right? And all of that. Now, at that broad level, a user is what you are tracking. That is That is what your entity would be. And then you would have other entities that fall. So within the tactical domain, domain driven design, we call them uh, a root entity and then child entities. And you could have value objects that are not dependent on entity, but store additional attributes. I mean, just as an example, you could have reviews written by a user, right? That, that don't need a unique identity. Uh, so all of this together, when we take the a corresponding root entity and its corresponding, you would say entities and value object, these are a candidate. This is what we call as an aggregate. And that becomes a candidate for a microservice, right? I mean, this is a whole one hour, two hour session that we could do, do on this separately. So just at a broad level, I just wanted to touch upon how we do decomposition. So you are aware uh, as to when I'm creating microservices, how they should how they should be defined or what's the process to reach to the definition of a microservice. Again, any questions on this?